Nick Green here with Nerd Ladin's Castle. I'm standing in front of Onet. Get that sign. Uh, Onet is a retro gaming store in Ottawa, Illinois. I recommend coming here. They have everything from Atari to Xbox One, and they also have a shitload of arcade machines. So I've got my quarters. I'm ready to go have some fun. Um, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you guys what the store looks like, and uh, then afterwards we'll show you what we buy. So we brought some money with us, because you gotta have money. Okay, so we're back from Onet now, yeah. by we, I mean me and my wife, and uh, we're in this lovely motel room, and you know, uh, well, there's a tour, great, okay. <laughs> anyway, so we're in this sweet motel room uh, that we've spent considerably less on than we did at Onet. Spent $135, this is day one by the way, got a nice fat sack here, I'm going to share with all of you. All right, got a Nintendo Zapper, so I play me some Duck Hunt, uh, the gray one, because the orange one's for pussies. We got Resident Evil 4 for the PS2, I've never played it, and I've got a special controller for Resident Evil 4 that I was wanting to try out. First item I grabbed... A Jaguar game. Raiden for the Jaguar. 20 bucks, but it's because it's actually a good game. It's one of the rare good Jaguar games that I actually don't own. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Batman Returns stickers. Yeah, I, I hope there's gum inside. Okay, we got some Atari games here. Space War, uh, never played it, but I, I think it's supposed to be close to the very first video game that was ever made in the 60s called Space War, unless you count that one that was made in the 50s. If you know your shit, you know what I'm talking about. Pitfall, good game. Uh, this is Food Fight for the Atari 7800. I've heard this title before, I can't remember if it's supposed to be good, but it wasn't terribly expensive, so... I uh, got a title for my Atari 5200, Popeye. The sticker looks like ass, but it was cheap, so whatever. A couple of N64 games here, racing ones. Probably going to end up on the uh, the Gamercock show, or at least this one for sure. Uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer and uh, Ridge Racer 64. I'm a Ridge Racer fan, so we'll see if that one's okay. If not, it was cheap. Um, now it looks like we've got NES games, and I actually managed to get a lot of good ones. Uh, Gyromite. RC Pro-Am. Tetris. Good game. This is the, the Nintendo version. Get, I, I was hoping they would have a Tengen Tetris, but they didn't. Uh, Kung Fu, classic beat em up. Excite Bike, fuck yes. Marble Madness, really fun. And Contra, absolutely. So that's it for the big fat sack. And the last thing we got 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lunch tray. It's got little legs too. I won't be, I won't be using this, but ah, it's day two. It's time to start shopping. I get a shot of my little friend here. All right, let's go spend some money. Oh, you fucker. Yeah, there. Super Mario Brothers. Monkey ball. Press start button. Well, now we already got a problem. Now. I really don't know how to even play this. See this controller? Hmm, Jesse. <laughs> Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I gotta get one of these controllers <laughs> to play the game with. second day of shopping at Onet and I uh, got a, a box full of goodies here this time spent $95 and uh, had some fun playing the arcade games the uh, Mario and monkey ball I really liked that monkey ball game and uh, of course uh, Hydro Thunder that was for Zach anyway so I'm gonna show you what we got here in my big box all right first of all this is kind of neat. Uh, Guinness World Records 2010 Gamers Edition. Uh, it's got, I don't know, just a bunch of crazy game related shit in there. So it's game related. So it's good. And got a lot of Atari games. So I'm just going to kind of read, read them off real quick. I mean, a lot. Street Racer. Breakout. Uh, Baseball, it was a buck. Makes the collection look bigger. Uh, Maze Craze. Um, and a couple of are this weird, made by Imagic, I don't know. These could suck for all I know. Called Cosmic Arc. It's probably terrible. 
Um, golf is terrible. Uh, air sea battle. Let's see here. Good lord. Okay. Outlaw. Space combat. Video pinball. Basketball. Warlords. Missile command. That's a good one. Uh, ice hockey. Sky jinx. It's made by Activision, so it's probably good. Star Raiders. Haunted House. It's not good. But it's fun to play these shitty games every once in a while. Defender. Great game. I used to have that when I was a kid. Indy 500. Probably sucks. Uh, Stampede. Casino. Another one of these games with that weird crap going on. Uh, Demon Attack. I don't know. Uh, this one was a really weird shape. It's called Infiltrate. Yeah. Infiltrate by Apollo. I have no idea. It's got a guy with a gun. Yeah. All right. Um, still not done. Combat. I already owned Combat, but this is the nicest cover of Combat I've ever seen. It actually still has a shine to it. So, you know, thought I'd pick that up. Night Driver, not Night Rider, which is also a terrible game for the NES. Uh, Star Master, Circus Atari. Um, let's see here. Bowling. I bet that's just loads of fun. And that's it for the Atari games. Now, because I grabbed a bunch of NES games earlier, they have all these things there for 50 cents a pop. I always make sure I grab them. More Batman cards. And got a couple of uh, Hook cards. Uh, I got those for Michael and Zach, since they are Robin Williams fans. Grab some ColecoVision games, too. Uh, Centipede. Frogger. Smurf. Yes, it's the Smurfs. Popeye! Now I have Popeye for two systems. And I got a Sega Genesis game in the box. Road Rash 2. Hell yes. I love Road Rash. And this one, let's get the dust off of it, a Michelangelo mirror. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so you could try to look at yourself in the mirror if that big fucking turtle wasn't in the way. Fuck off!